the perspector tab is pretty, it pretty much relates to your drawing, to what happens to that drawing. And then the setting tabs is notice that it changes a bunch of icons. That's basically what you can change to make your drawing uh, anything you change, anything, any, any change you make on the drawing, whether it's uh, how to measure, how to get data out of it, uh, will be based on those settings. Uh, for example, because we've been talking about this and the main focus of our program is be able to get data from the AutoCAD into this equipment. And the reason why I'm bringing this early at the beginning of the class is because it'll give you an introduction that, you, that way you can troubleshoot and work your way into being able to grasp all this information on how to get there. It gives you that time. And then when you're getting that experience at the same time uh, on your own, you know, when you're not here, and then uh, you can also, you know, take a break if you become frustrated, and then and then start even look for for something uh, something else. But um, when it says point, you, did you see those plus signs just like Windows? Um, you click on that, it gives you a bunch of uh, uh, folders, and this is the way. Uh, you want to be able to, remember we're in settings right now, you want to be able to create a point file format that would allow you to communicate your AutoCAD with, with the data collector. Okay. So, um, and the file, uh, point file format, you click on that and uh, Once again, you open up the folder. You're gonna get a bunch of more folders inside the point file format. And I'm going to expand. You can see this uh, on the tab, it has, a, it has a little black uh, like corn. See how that? Expand it a little bit. And you're gonna notice all file formats that are to export or import a point. I think, uh, Perla, you were mentioning about why, you know, uh, I get some files that are uh, northing, I'm sorry, they got easting, northing, right? Kind of backwards, the way you're accustomed to see is because of the uh, format in which uh, you get the data in and out. It's not, doesn't really break anything. You just gotta be paying attention how you're getting your format in and out. The reason why is because if I were to choose, let's say for example, uh, my, my auto is going really slow, but I don't know why. But I was trying to change the, uh, Scale. Yeah. I'm gonna leave that for later. Anyways, uh, if you were to, let's say I'm gonna choose uh, east and north and elevation, which is the E, N, and C. Uh, e stands for easting and for northing, and C for elevation. And then you see the comma. I'm sorry, the uh, parentheses. And it says space delimited, right? So that's the format that you might have seen it, or you can actually change from space to uh, to uh, comma delimited. Uh, AutoCAD is pretty cool because if you hold on to and let your cursor to touch that, it'll tell you you know how the format goes, and it gives you examples, and it gives you the extension. Uh, the extension of it 
you know, it's, it's has a bunch of uh, extensions uh, that you can uh, you can change if you go into the uh, properties of that particular uh, file format. What I typically use, and I would recommend you guys to start with, will be DMEZD, uh, Point Northern Easting Elevation and Description, comma delimited. That's what this class will go and uh, we will start. That's where we're gonna start. Then you can, later on you can you can change it. You can do whatever it is that you want to do once you get the concept of it. So if I were to click on D M E C D, uh, gonna show me uh, the properties of that file folder format that I need to change the settings. I need to change the settings to make it friendly to how my AutoCAD is gonna exchange the data. A lot of people will tell you, well, how do you, I never seen that AutoCAD, uh, either because they're accustomed to use uh, maybe the, uh, the brand software or another software that is uh, surveyor friendly, like uh, Carlson, you know, or Biden software. Uh, so now you are into the uh, point file format of the DMPCD comma delimited format. And I can stop and explain if you have questions. I said, I don't want to go too fast and you know quite understand it because it's really this is really really critical for you to know this and understand this and uh, and why because this is how you're gonna make your money out of the field. Uh, perfect.